When I went off to college, there was a tension in my life I could not figure out. It went like this. I knew from the Bible and I knew from my father that God designed me to glorify him in everything I do. Whatever you do, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, son, you do it to the glory of God. I knew something else. I knew Johnny Piper wanted to be happy, and I couldn't put those two together. The assumption that if you do something to be happy, you ruin its morality. My attention was, God aims to be glorified in John Piper's life, 1 Corinthians 10, 31, and John Piper wants to be happy and can't stop wanting to be happy because he seems to be wired that way by his maker. And I think that's true. I think you are wired to want to be happy the same way your body is wired to get hungry, and that's no accident. So I came to realize that God's passion to be glorified and my passion to be satisfied were not alternatives. Paul said, Christ is magnified not instead of his being satisfied, but by means of his being satisfied in Christ. Do you believe that? He said, Christ will be magnified through, by means of Paul counting him gain when everything is lost. In other words, more satisfied in Christ than anything. God is, Christ is, most magnified, most glorified in you when in life and death you are most satisfied in Him. Ergo, therefore, 24-7, the rest of your life, you're on a quest to be satisfied in Christ. Into thinking this TV show or this pursuit of fame, or this perfect family will be more satisfying than Christ. Therefore, if you believe what I just said, you will be now on a lifelong warfare to kill that over and over again, to take the sword of the Spirit and stick it. Will you lay your self into the arms of the one who with his Almighty power, infinite wisdom, immeasurable love assures you by his word, this is going to be gain. And you rest and are satisfied in his word.